Hello everyone, welcome to Vino Thratinam Tutorials. In the previous video, we learnt about list and how to handle that, like deleting, updating and accessing the values. In this video, we will learn about each list methods. We will see few operators and followed by most used methods. First one, how to concoordinate. In order to concoordinate two lists, we use the plus symbol. Here we created two lists. List 1 contains three names. List 2 contains two names. I want to concoordinate these two values. I created another variable final list equal to list 1 plus list 2. Just for better clarity, I am printing all the three values. Just run it. The list 1, three names, list 2, two names but the final list contains all the five names. This is how we can clap two list using the plus symbol. The next method is length. Length means it is used to find what is the total number of elements present in the list. For that, print the output message length of the list is we have to use the method len inside you have to pass the list just run it so totally we have 16 elements inside this list the third one is repetition operator we have a list contain a single value python and i want to print this particular python value n number of times how to do it print list name you have to mention star and a I want to print this for 7 times. If you mention like this and run it, the python value will be created 7 times. And you have to remember one thing, all these values created inside the same list only. This is how we can repeat the values. Then comes the membership operator. So we have to use in operator. You know very well in operator is used to find whether the value is presented in that list or not. If it is available, you will get true. Print. I want to find whether 24 in list 1. Run it. The value is available. That's why you got true. And the next one is sample for not in. The not in will display true if the value is not available. Print. 99 not an list one the 99 is not available it will go and check if the value is not available you will get true that's how membership operator will work now how to find the smallest number in the list we created our list contains multiple values and now an output message smallest number in the list is we have a method called min it is nothing but minimum inside this you can guess we have to pass the variable what this exactly will do it will try to find the minimum value in this list just run it and the minimum value is 24 same way we have to find the largest number in the list just taking the same list can you guess what will be the keyword if that is min this will be max max pass that variable run it the biggest value in this list is 132 then comes sum of all the numbers in the list we have to find what will be the sum of all these number in other programming language you have to write multiple lines of code and uh, do the looping but in python printing the output as sum of all the numbers in the list then the method name is sum s u m inside this you have to pass the variable just run it so the total of all these value is 686 and for this reason only python become very famous because for every complicated task we have readily available methods till now we have seen all simple operators and method now we will see little bit complex methods First one is append. Append means it adds an element to the end of the list and returns none. Appending an element. First example. Now I want to add another name to this list. List one dot tab. You no need to buy out anything. The auto suggestion itself will tell what are all the methods available. So we use append. Inside this, 
I have to give the value. Then just run now. The value Sadish is appended to this list. Now this list will contain four values. In the first example, we have seen how to append a single value. Now we can append the list also. I have created another list too with two more names, Raghul and Santosh. How to append this? List one append inside this list two. Now we'll print and see. The list two is appended at the end of the list and it is also an another list. If you concordinate, the concordination happens in a new variable. But if you use append, it will add the value at the end of the variable. And third one, extend. And extend appends all the elements from one list to the another list and returns none. Like previous example, we have a two list. Now I want to extend the list. After executing, I will explain the difference between both append and extend. List one dot extend list two. What exactly happens here is we'll execute. Now we'll see the difference between these two. When you use append, what happened is it added as a new list. But when you use extend, it added as a two value. You can see square bracket is available for the append but here there is no square bracket. The next one is insert. It is used to insert an element at the given index. We have a list starts from 1 to 10 but there is no value 5. My requirement says I want to insert a particular value in this list. And this is useful when you want to insert a particular value in a particular location based on the index. How to do that? List 1 insert the location comma value the location is 0 1 2 3 and 4 this is the fourth location and the value is 5 we'll print and see the value 5 is inserted the argument is location and the value in this example we have a list of four names can you tell what was the meaning of this at the second position 0 1 2 in this position I am going to insert value Vignesh just run it the Vignesh value is inserted so these two values went right side this is how insert method will work that's the end of this video still we have few more list methods and list comprehension which will be covered in the next video thanks for watching happy learning